welcome back everybody. Um, so before we begin, I just wanted to uh, give a special thanks to JJ Abraham again for uh, noticing something I missed. I uh, accidentally uploaded episode 346 twice. <laughs> so uh, if you were watching 347 and you got a deja vu feeling, that's why I uh, went back and re-uploaded 347. So it's up now. Or it's uploading as of the time of me recording this. So yeah, sorry about that everyone. But um, we are going to be, uh, we're going to go to Virgil Wood, uh, but I also want to check these delivery points just to see if we can uh, talk to the people here to ask if they want to go settle over at Pit Stop, just because I figured they'll have unique, uh, they're basically named NPCs. So yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. these guys. <laughs> Stop is a nice place to settle. Uh, well, here, have this package first. Give it here. Oh, yeah. Here you go, man. Here's the shit. Hey, are you in? Yep, um, so what are you guys doing out here? Oh, where? Oh, uh, anyway, uh, head over to Pit Stop. Okay, Oracle. We shall do so. Hey. Hey. Guys. Hey, guys. Let's go over there. Maybe. <laughs> hey. Do they have any Xander root? Um, probably. <laughs> I feel like Dad's gonna be pissed now because we're just sending druggies over there. <laughs> uh, oh, I wonder if... If we had started the pit stop thing back when, back before we did Doug's quest, could we have told him to go there instead? I mean, I know he was trying to get Riley somewhere safe, but y'all could have brought your cattle, all malnourished. What now? Yep. See ya. Alright, um, last stop gas station or cat's camp? Sure. Oh, wait a minute, we already talked to y'all. Is there someone else? Which ways is it? This ways. Oh, it's this guy. This is the first one we delivered to. Gotcha! You like the sight of your own? Um, you 
stuck. Ha ha ha. I am in a rock. Hey. You again. What do you want? Um, why do you live out of here? Where else am I gonna live? Like, I always live in pit stop. Uh, here's the order. Uh, oh yeah. Thanks, man. Real good. Yeah, and uh, here's a settlement you can go live. Don't need that. I like it here. Uh, okay. You don't want to die in this house alone, do you? <laughs> Sounds more like a threat, but... Good point. Okay. Yeah, that dad is going to be fucking pit. But... That was weird. Um, yeah, that dad's going to be pissed. Uh, yeah. Hello. Do you want to relocate? Some people told me I was an idiot for making my armor out of bomb parts, but I don't see the problem with it. No, it's just now that I think about it, it was probably the beeping that gave people the wrong idea. Oh. Um, yeah, see you around. Yeah, I guess I probably wouldn't want to tell the compound people about a new settlement. Hey, where the fuck is the bartender? Uh, probably doing his own thing. Wait, this isn't the same place we came out last time. Choir's key. Oh, it's the sniper. Oh. You were right about this place. It's a wonderful fit. Uh... Wait, what? What are you talking about Riley? I felt sorry for that little girl. Taught her to shoot. It's a good skill to know, and no one else around here is gonna do it. Um... I guess, do you want to go to Pit Stop? Well, things are going well. As long as the Brotherhood and Legion battles don't get too close. Okay. <laughs> sure. I guess I could have just gone around. What's up? 
Hey there. Hi. Uh, you got the uh, stuff? You're, you're carrying the stuff, right? I, I, you uh, you have it on you? Arcade, what's going on, man? <laughs> Why are we meeting out here? I don't know. This is, uh, isn't this how you typically do business? Uh, yeah, kind of. Well, I guess not. Oh, well, um, noted. Why are you acting so weird? No reason, man. I'm j I just, uh, I really need, um, need a fix. Yeah. Thanks. I'll just leave now. Okay. No, like, uh, hey, man. Um, alright. Those other guys wanted some Xander root. I'll, uh, wait to talk to you until later. Okay, and let's see. Becker's burial, what was that? I'm worried there's like a giant wall right here that we can't get through. Uh, this probably saves us a little bit of time. All right, who are you? Oh. Brotherhood. What are y'all doing out here? I'm surprised Erickson's out in a station like this. Oh yeah, y'all were shooting the iBot last time. Thought it was like a target or something. Slightly curious. I've never tried this. Can you blow up one of these trucks just by punching it? All out myth busted. You cannot punch a truck into an explosion. Oh, all right, we got a... Uh Brotherhood. Scum. Wasteland scum. Howdy. 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 Oh, uh, what are you doing out here? Lost my caravan due to those damn raiders. Figured I might as well settle down somewhere before I met my end in that desert. This doesn't really seem like a place to settle. What can you tell about the area? Ain't much out here but ruins. The Brotherhood has an outpost near the train station, but they won't let anyone in. Oh. 
There's also Wellington down the road, but I wouldn't head down there. Yep, best to head into the mountains. Well, I heard you shouldn't go to the mountains. Uh... If you stay here in the valley, you're likely to run into the 80s. You can head towards the compound too. Much safer. I would advise against that. You don't seem to be very good at your survival stuff. Uh, what can you talk about the 80s? A bunch of crazy tribals that wear street signs. They usually stick to the valley floor or near the highway. Uh-huh. What's in the mountains? I think there used to be a town up near the ruins of Mesa City, but... Eh, it's probably just a rumor. Mesa City? Don't head there. Place is built on the cliff's edge, and is full of raiders, I hear. Oh. So you used to be a caravaner? I was more like a merchant. I travel from town to town repairing and selling items. That was until the 80s took out my caravan. Hmm. Oh. Uh, can you repair? Sure could. If you'd be willing to pay, of course. Yeah? Uh, where's my... Oh, <laughs> you can only repair up to five. <laughs> You're fucking worthless. Howdy. Uh, yeah. Why would I not want to head to Wellington? A few years ago, that town was a thriving frontier town. No legion, no raiders. It was quite the place. About a few months ago, the town's residents disappeared. Ain't a trace either. Hmm. Um, I have your package. This could not come at a better time. Thank you. I've been having some heart troubles lately, and I hope this will help. I don't think it will. <laughs> uh, have you heard of the new settlement, Pit Stop? I think I'm done with towns, after all I've been through. Uh, I think I'm done with towns, okay. after all I've been through. After all I've been through, I think I'm done with towns. Okay. Well, staying in Pit Stop is better than dying alone out here. Good point. Where's this place again? Uh, if you just follow this road. Uh. Howdy. Are you gonna go? Or... Hmm. Didn't say he was gonna go. Howdy. Um, alright. I guess I'll see you in Pit Stop. I don't know. Thompson. I'm just curious what that is. Oh, hey. in another town. Shit, how do you get into Thompson? Who's over there? Y'all controlling this place?
So what is this place? Oh. It's not often one of you attempts to converse. Typically, I find your kind likes to resort to violence or cowardice. Um, it's not often you see a friendly mutant either. I suppose that is true. My fellow mutants in Virgil would might leave a bad impression of mutants in this region. Uh, so who are you? I had a name a long time ago, but that name was best left in times forgotten. I have taken the name Azuhadis because I have deemed it most appropriate. Ahaz wait. Ahazarius? A name I came across in my readings. Huh. I'll have to Google that. So where are you from? From. I suppose where all of us super mutants come from. I served the master to achieve his great dream. But it did not last. I was his most loyal, killed many humans all for his dream for peace. In the end, it did not matter. His dream could not be achieved. For what I have done, I have become cursed. Um, what can you tell me about the army? The master had us believe we were doing what was best for the world. It was only when his voice deafened that I began to see the world for what it is. I could never serve any being now. Not ever. Not after that. Now I am my own master. Well, it sounds like it came up on top. Uh, what can you tell me about Virgil Wood? Why? Planning to loot the place? I wish you luck. That place is not safe for your kind. The mutants there are not like myself. I have traveled there in hopes to converse with others of my kind. But those barbarians lost their minds. They and their so-called leader are just a drug that has stolen their ability to understand reality. It is a sad sight to see. Hmm. Who's the leader? I use the term lightly. It's a nightkin. Calls himself Frenzy. Most nightkin I've met aren't in the best mental state. He is not any better. He is far worse, and just as violent. Uh, so what do you mean by cursed? Every place I settle does not live to last. Broken hills, New Canaan, all have met horrible fates. Each worse than the last. All I want to do is make up for what I have done in the name of peace. And I have yet to find it. Well, let me guess, you don't want to go to Pit Stop because you think you're going to destroy the place? I wouldn't want to bring my curse to another settlement. I'm afraid I cannot accept your request. Well, wasteland towns fail all the time. It's not your fault it happened, you just need to forgive yourself. Very well. I suppose I could always stay for just a day or two. Yeah, I mean, it's better than all the other druggies I've been sitting there. <laughs> Uh, so what's going on in this town? Hey. Yeah.
Wait a minute, was he not wearing pants? I don't know, he's got shorts on. <laughs> I thought I just saw the Hulk's butt walking behind me. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's uh let's head back to pit stop and uh We'll uh, head over to Virgil Wood. I suppose we can ask uh, how things been doing. Hey, could you stop asking junkies <laughs> to live here? That dueling guy's really making people uncomfortable, and I don't want more people like him. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was I was joking about that happening, but I <laughs> Oh man. It makes sense. I, I don't blame you there. <laughs> uh, you know what this town needs? Maybe some followers of the apocalypse to help these guys kick their addictions. set up now? Are they just wandering the town? Uh, how are you taking to oh, her? Oh, hey there. Uh, it's going to be difficult to find Doolin. I'll look for him later. Wait, is that him? Whoa, wait. Oh, Jesus. I thought you said he got rid of the traps. Who are you? Oh, you're a joke. What do you need? Never mind. Is there more traps? Fallout 4 New Vegas comes out. I'm looking forward to using that trail carbine. I saw the pictures of it they posted. It looks awesome. Red Hot Ike. Ooh. Were you an enemy? <laughs> look pretty nice and a plasma defender Uh, 
he's like, should I even be in this fight? Walton's Journal. October 20th, 2077. Jeanette never really got used to the heat out here. I guess I never really blamed her for that. Coming from Oregon and all, every month around the summertime I hear her start up her famous complaints. Of course it's hot. It's a desert. Oh, but at least that's the only taff I have with her. Not all couples can say that they've been together for 50 years, which will be officially true for us in a few days. I need to find her something to show her just how much she means to me. October 21st, 2077. Another family gone. The, Gab the Gabardine family across the way uh, left their farm for greener pastures. I hear tale that Joseph got himself into a vault up north. Good for him, I guess. I'm not about to fork over the amount of money they're asking for to pay for something that probably won't even happen. The sheriff came by again today and he urged us that leaving our home might be for the best. I told him that we would never leave this house again. After Virgil Wood was destroyed, we were forced to leave our home for months. When Jeanette and I came back, our home was in shambles. It took months just to put it back in place. I was born in this house. My parents built it with their own hands. I would never abandon it. People like the sheriff could never understand that. October 23rd, 2077. They're saying on the radio that a nuclear explosion just hit D.C. Jeanette and I couldn't believe our ears. We tried to get in contact with Jacob, but it had been so long since we were in contact, I couldn't remember the number. Jeanette urged me to get the truck ready so that we could drive up there and see if they're all right. But then the radio stopped broadcasting. That's when I knew things were getting real bad. October 24th, 2077. We haven't left the house since the news on the radio yesterday. We heard the explosions far off in the distance and felt the shakes, but we were lucky enough not to have seen much of anything. I took a look at our food supply. Thankfully, I had stocked up just enough to last us about a month or so, a few days prior to all this. Jeanette has been in bed all day, crying. I feel like doing the same. Jacob and I had the same opinion about the vault. Him being in D.C., I doubt he made it out. October 26, 2077. Been feeling sick all day. I can't seem to keep anything I eat down, and I always feel so tired. This morning I went to brush my teeth, and I spit out so much blood that I don't know what's wrong with me. Jeanette is not much better, so I think when, so I think she's got what I got. When she's not in bed, she's knitting in her chair, trying to keep her mind off all that's happened. October 27th. Happy anniversary, Jeanette. All I had to give her was that reminder. She smiled warmly, and we sat together in the living room most of the day, just the two of us together. 28th. I saw some people today. Looked military. They ripped the Gabardine house to pieces, loading whatever they took into a big truck before they drove off towards Virgil Wood. I have a feeling they'll be back tomorrow. October 29th. I'm so tired and thirsty all the time. I'd kill for a shower. My skin feels rough and almost like it's burning. I don't dare go outside anymore in fear of whoever was in those trucks yesterday come to take me and Jeanette away. I'd go insane cooped up in this house all day if, it, if I wasn't so tired all the time. At least I still have Jeanette in this house. Not everything is gone. October 30th. I know we're dying. Even a fool couldn't ignore that. There's no point trying to look for help out there. Now, we're too sick. I have my wife for me here and she has me. Don't see any reason to go anywhere because right now, being with Jeanette is this old in this old house is the only place I ever wanted to be. Oh. Well. 
least you had each other. More than Randall had. And you had liquor. shooting at me? I couldn't tell. In the cleanup camp. No! no. <clears throat> oh, don't you, don't you throw that. So is this technically not Virgil Wood? neon signs all right well I think uh, I'm gonna cut here for this episode uh, next episode we will um, get to exploring this FEMA camp and I, I thought this was Virgil Wood I mean Virgil Wood urban ruins oh, okay so we're like right below it all right so yeah hope you all enjoyed um, y'all take care and have a great night